Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Chana. And welcome to our channel, Mike's Philippine Retirement. Now let's get to today's video. Today I want to talk to you about five scams that I know about. And I have a bonus scam at the end, which is something I just heard about today and I can't believe it, but it's got to be true. Take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And let's get to today's video. This first scam is a simple scam, I think. It's common. It happens to almost everybody who is talking to these Filipinas. I don't want to just say it's the Filipinas that scam. Girls scam all over the world. The definition of a scammer is someone who's trying to get your money by either misleading you, deceiving you, or through fraud. And these girls, I don't believe it's fraud, but they're going to mislead you and they're going to deceive you until they get your money. Now it's the phone scam. I need a new phone. My phone doesn't work. So you've been talking to a girl for a while. She's nice. You like chatting her. You like doing the video chat with her. And then all of a sudden you can't get hold of her. And all of a sudden she pops back. I have a neighbor's phone. I have my cousin's phone. My phone is broken. I can't chat you no more. I'm sorry. And then you feel bad. You like chatting her. You like spending time talking to her. So you ask her how much her phone is. She gets back to you. She's in the, the store. And she takes a picture of the back of the phone box. And it will have the price tag on it. All different prices. The phones go from 4,000 pesos, even less, up to 20, 30,000 pesos. You can buy an iPhone. You know what they cost. You feel bad. You send her the money. She buys the phone. A few different things might happen. If she really needs a phone, she's going to buy a cheaper one and keep the difference. Or she already has a phone and is just telling you that hers is broken. Either way, she's got your money, she has a phone, and she's going to chat you some more, and then something else is going to happen. Be careful. It's a simple scam. These next scams are big deals. They're going to cost you a lot of money, especially that bonus scam at the end. So I hope you take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below. And if you've been scammed, I want to know about it. If it's too personal and you don't want to share it in the comments section, send me an email. I'll keep everything private if you want it private. But I want to know about these scams. The second scam I want to talk about is girls who need to be saved. These are girls who live and work in a big city. They're in Cebu. They're in Manila. They're in Angel City. They're bar girls. They're escorts. Their, their job is to entertain foreigners, entertain tourists, and they want out of that life. They need somebody to help them. Their education is not good enough for them to get a job, but their family needs the money. They're the only money maker in the family. And they're looking for that knight in the shining armor to come and save them, to support them, to help them get back to the province to be with their family, but to take care of all their financial needs. The girl needs to be saved. Now, when you find somebody you really like, and they're in that type of lifestyle, they're in the big city, you don't want them doing that job. Of course you're going to help them get out of that situation. But man, these girls are so street smart. They can play you for everything you got. Their whole goal in life is to separate you from your money. Be careful with them. Just because they're in the Philippines, don't think they're stupid. They know how to separate you from your money. They know all the ways to get money transferred to them. They know how to get it. Fake IDs and all this different ways to sign for the money. We might think we're really smart, but you read all the time people being scammed. People are scammed in the United States by other people in the States. They're scammed in Europe. People are scammed for very large amounts of money. Bernie Madoff. How many people have been scammed out of money investing in crypto? These different exchanges. Scammers are smart. They're all over the world and they're coming up with new scams every day. And talking to an old guy who's lonely, who is sitting at home, 
and this girl needs to be saved. There's nothing that he wouldn't do to save this girl if he really likes her. If she makes him feel like he's the true love of her life. Be careful. Their whole goal is to separate you from your money and they don't care what kind of life you have after you lose your money. This third scam has to do with a hospital or a mortuary or a funeral home. You'll get a picture of somebody being buried, somebody in the hospital and their face is bandaged or they have so much going on around them you can't see their face. The girl might say, my grandmother passed, my dad's in the hospital, but you can't verify it with these pictures. Have you ever met the grandparents? Have you ever met the dad? The one with the dad in the hospital, that happened to me. She said he was in a motorcycle accident and he was in the hospital and they had bandages on his head. He was all cut up from road rash, you know, his head hitting the pavement. You couldn't see his face, but she said her dad was in the hospital, needed money for a MRI, needed money for a CAT scan, needed money for this, needed money for that. Also, she needed money to admit him into the hospital. And then at the end, she needed money to discharge him. But when I checked the social media pages of her sisters, of her cousins, of her brothers, there was never a mention of, pray for our dad, he's in the hospital. There's nothing, only her sending me pictures. And it's the same thing with a funeral. Somebody passes. Is that really their grandparents? And look at their other social media pages, their cousins, their brothers, their sisters. If they're not showing that picture, you know, pray for my grandmother, she's passed. So the scam is, they tell you somebody's dead or somebody's in the hospital, but you can't verify it. And it could be pictures from years ago. It could be a picture they found on Facebook. I've seen pictures on Facebook of many people in the hospital, and I can't tell who it is. You have to make sure that the person is who they say they are. Call the hospital. If it's that important to you, make that long distance phone call. You want to see the bill. You want to see the admittance form. The way I knew I was scammed was a week after he got out of the hospital, I saw a video of a birthday party and there he was. Face was clean, no scars, no scabs. He was near death and here it is a week later. He's drinking beer, dancing around at a party, singing karaoke. So just because you're talking to somebody and you really like them, the scammers are smart. Once they got you on the hook, they're going to scam you. Most girls are not scammers. It's very few. But those that do scam and do it for a living are really good at it. The fourth scam that I want to talk about is for the guys that have come here on vacation. You come to check out the Philippines. You do not come here to live on this trip. You put your boots on the ground. You met somebody. You got intimate with them. You had a great time. Now it's time to go home. Once you're home, you're still in contact with this person. Maybe you're sending a little bit of money to her all the time. Maybe she's asked for money and you said no. But she's still talking to you. Then after two months, she goes, I'm pregnant. And it's your baby. What are you going to do? You're a man, you're going to start doing the right thing, and you're going to support her. You start sending money for her monthly support. You start sending money for her prenatal care to go see a doctor. Three, four, five months have gone by. And just prior to where she's going to start showing, lost the baby. I had a miscarriage. Now you feel really bad. She has some big doctor bills. She needs a hospital bill paid. You're feeling guilty. You're a good man. And you want to pay your share of the bills. You, you like this girl, she got pregnant by you, and you want to do the right thing. So you pay these bills, you pay the doctor bills, you pay the hospital bill. My question to you is, was she really pregnant? How do you know? 
I've seen this scam online more than once. So guys, when you come over here and you're here for two weeks, a month, don't come down here without any protection. You're older. You're in your 40s, 50s, maybe even 60. Be careful. Don't give anybody the chance to scam you. Keep it in your pants. I know that's an impossible thing to do if you meet a sexy girl here and you're having a good time with her. But wear protection. Do whatever you have to do. Make sure she doesn't get pregnant. Don't leave something behind. Avoid these big problems. Number five. This scam I read about and watched on YouTube a few years back. I don't know how true it is, but somebody posted it, someone talked about it, and I believe all these scams are possible. I think people who are trying to separate you from your money will go to all different extents. They will try anything, and once they get a little hint that something will work, they find a weakness in your personality, a weakness in your wants and your needs, they'll attack it. Scammers, true scammers, will do everything possible to separate you from your money. They can be from the Philippines, they can be from South America, Africa, they could be from the United States. They don't care where you're from, they just want your money. And they have no caring about your feelings or the outcome of your life once you're separated. Now this scam, a guy had an online girlfriend and they were online for quite a while, I'm going to say four or five months, and he was supporting her, not a lot of money, just a little bit, but one day he decided to make that mental commitment to her. He told her that he is going to come to the Philippines to live for good. He's got another year and a half of working and he wants to have a nice home in the Philippines and she suggested that they go ahead and buy a lot, they go ahead and buy a house, build a house, and he'll be all ready and prepared so when he gets there, he'll be in a comfortable lifestyle, not living in the province, you know, in a native style house, he'll have a nice house to live in. He was all for this. So she went around and took pictures of lots and they chose one lot. He sent her the money for it. She said she got to put it in her name. Showed him some sort of title. I, I have no idea the documents she showed him or what they were. And then they went about to build the house. So he started sending money for the contractor. Sending money for material, for labor. And he was getting little videos and he was getting pictures of the house being built. It would show the wall going up. It showed the concrete floor. It showed uh, the electric going in. It showed the water meter, the electric meter. Later it showed the walls going up. The rooms being divided. The roof going on. And he kept sending money. She would show up, she would contact him and say, Here's the invoice for the tile. Here's the invoice for the concrete. And he would send the money to pay these bills. She would show him an actual bill and he would send the money. And then eventually the house was almost finished and the timing was good. It was just before he was ready to retire. The house was almost finished. He sent the final payments for the contractor to do the finishing work and he went to the Philippines. And he told her he'd be there on a certain day, but he surprised her. He came a couple days early. When he got there, he decided just to go straight to the house. Got to the house. He was surprised how nice the house looked. The wall was up. He walked in through the main gate. He walked up to the porch, smiling. Oh, man, she did a great job. Then the front door opened and a man came out. And he said to the, to the foreigner, what are you doing here? And the foreigner goes, that's all right. This is my house. I've been sending money here to have this paid, my girlfriend and me. We're going to be moving in here shortly. The guy looked at him and said, no, this is my house. It's not your house. I built this house. 
So he started to explain to him how he had his girlfriend coming here every day, checking on the site, paying the bills, buying the material. And the Filipino owner said to him, Oh, that girl's your girlfriend? I was wondering what she was doing. Every day coming here, taking pictures, asking me where I bought the material, watching the progress of the house. She came by every day. Well, now he can't find her. The guy's out all that money. The house isn't his. The lot's not hers. Nothing. And they said he couldn't find the girl. Totally disappeared. Who knows how much money he sent? Twenty, thirty thousand dollars U.S. I have no idea. But man, be careful buying property here, buying a house with a Filipina. If you haven't met her, don't, don't even think of that. Even if you've met her, don't even think of that. That is something you do after you move here and you decide you're going to live in the Philippines. Do not spend that kind of money prior to coming here. I know all my viewers are too smart to fall for something like that, but it just shows you how love and hope will blind you. We can hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Don't this is the bonus scam. Now this one I just heard about today. Somebody told me that he knew somebody in the States who had an online girlfriend. And they had a long distance relationship they were chatting for about a month to six weeks and they were getting really tight online. He really liked her. He was sending her small bits of money here and there. But he was falling madly in love with this girl. Well, after the six weeks or so, they decided they were going to get intimate online. She started doing some sexy dances for him, getting him excited online. And then he would just take care of himself. And this went on for a couple weeks. Then after another month, he got a message from a Filipino guy. And the Filipino guy said, Hey, I got some video of you taking care of yourself and chatting with my wife and her dancing for you. I want $10,000 US or I'm going to share this video with all your co-workers. I'm going to send it to where you work. I'm going to send it to your family. I'm going to send it to your friends. So he ended up getting blackmailed. Somehow they were able to download what he was doing. I looked it up. There is software that you can download a video chat from Facebook. You buy a certain software and you can download the video chat. So these scammers are sophisticated. These younger people, they know how to work social media. They know how to look on your Facebook, look on your other social media to find out where you work. The name of your employer. To find out the name of your friends, your family, your parents. So, I don't know the predicament this guy got in. Did he just delete all his accounts and hope nothing happened? I don't know. But don't get in a position where somebody could blackmail you. Be a little bit more careful with your social media footprint. Make sure all these people can't find out where you're working if you're still working. Can't find out your parents' or your mom's email address or her Facebook. I don't know how you can do this. You just have to be super careful. If you're going to do something gratifying, make sure you're off camera. Keep the, keep the video, you know, from the neck up. Don't let it show the neck down. Protect yourself. I don't know if this one was true or not, but man, that would scare the hell out of me if somebody tried to send a video of me doing something like that to where I work my family, my friends, my parents. That was a scary scam. If that was true or wasn't true, I think it could be true. Like I said, they're sophisticated, these scammers. And the intent they will go, once they hone in on you and you're their mark and, and you're a willing participant in a lot of this, 
their greed or their ability to, to get money from you, there's no limit what they'll do. They have nothing to lose. So be careful. Those are the scams that I found interesting that are a little bit different than others. It just shows you the extent that people will go to separate you from your money. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.